Oh man, welcome back. Uh, I'm so excited you got to see that first video. Again, I can't tell you how excited I am about that. I'm also joined here uh, by an esteemed panel of leaders, and I'm going to make sure I introduce you quick because I know you got lots to say and I don't want to mess this up, okay? Oh, so, having said all that, I love the comments that are flying in. We'll cover a few of those in just a minute, but I am joined here by none other than Liz Hardy. I call her our social media strategist. Uh, she is a coach, she's world class. I'm joined here by Jordan De Felice. Did I say that right? You did. Time? Yes. Okay, a uh, life coach and motivational uh, guru. I'm going to call you a guru. How's that? Okay. okay that works. All right. I'm joined also by Tina Goebel. She is a coordinator with us and she yes. is incredible in terms of just how she builds and what she does. And I have seen her build uh, so fast. So welcome, Tina. We're glad you're Thank here with you. us. And I'm also joined by Jay Borston. Now, this guy is a force to be reckoned with. Uh, and I have got to spend some time with him. Just like I said, always inspires confidence and trust. One of our diamond ambassadors. Mm -hmm. Incredible. So, guys, welcome. Grateful that you're here. Um, you guys got to see a little bit about our videos and some of those kind of things. And there's principles in there that we talk about all the time, right? Yes. We talk about connecting, sharing, inviting, building a list, things mm -hmm. like that. And so I know you guys do that all the time. So I'm hoping you can share a little insight about how those work uh, and how we can make them work for the people that are watching. Mm -hmm. So I'll start with you, Jordan, if that's okay. Sure. First question? Okay. Now, Jordan, I know you've built lots of connection lists in your day, right? Yes. Um, what are some of the things, a process you kind of go through when you build that list initially? And then secondly, um, how do you continue that every single day? How do you keep that going? So in terms of building the list, I mean, there's the mechanics of it, which is, you know, writing people's down on a, on a piece of paper, organizing that, that list of names, that's important. But I think the, the driving force behind that is a mindset behind creating a list. And that starts with knowing what you have. Like, we have what people need here at New You Life. You know, from a product standpoint, a, a products that actually work, that are making a difference in people's lives, is, is, that's, that's tremendous. Um, a compensation plan and a financial opportunity that is helping people, it's giving them a plan B. It's giving them hope, it's giving them security for a lot of people. Or maybe it's, it's a person that has that desire to be great inside, that, that, that wants to find a vehicle where they can actually reach their potential and, and do big things that have big impact, that you know, a person that has big dreams, like we have that here. So from a product standpoint, from a financial standpoint, you know, understanding also the mentality of you know, the, the, the community here. The community that we have here is amazing. I mean, just in the last couple of days, the, the memories that we've made, the laughs that, we, that we've had, like this is a place where people actually give a damn about what you do. They actually care about your success. There's leaders from, from, the, from, you know, from the distributors to the corporate side, they're fighting to make your dreams come true. And that's rare to find these days. You know, in, in today's society, we're, we look at the last 18 months, you know, people are, they feel lonely, they're depressed, they're not, they're not healthy, they're looking, they, they want connection. We have that here. So when you understand what we have, then it becomes easy to approach the people, which we're gonna talk about. But having that mindset of, I have something great, now I'm gonna organize my own contacts and bring it to them. Realizing that we, that we have the vehicle, we just gotta go up to people and say, here's the keys, come ride with me. That's what we have. I love that. Um, I, I literally got chills. That was good. That was really good. Um, no, that's, it's amazing that you talking about the fact that we have that connection. But like I said, we're all best in the same thing. And finding people that are like-minded and your mindset starting that way makes all the difference when Absolutely. you're building a list, right? Totally changes that. Well, thank you, Jordan. That was mm -hmm. perfect. Okay. Um, Liz. Yes. Next question. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Liz, uh, you're a connection like I said, master, in my humble opinion. Oh, um, now, when you think about this, what are you finding is the best way to really connect with people? Obviously, that's before the sale, right? But building that connection. Mm -hmm. um, and how, but like I said, how do you do that before sharing our products and opportunity? How do you like to do that? Well, um, the most effective way I've found is through social media, Facebook specifically. I think it kind of debunks any of, you know, when you come into network marketing and then you go and get excited and all of a sudden you think, I don't have any more people to talk to. But social media totally blows that out of the water. 1.7 million people, billion people log into Facebook every single day, endless opportunities. So I connect through Facebook. Um, there's four different things that I've done that have helped my business blow up and, and really take root. Um, the first is be authentic, sharing my story authentically, showing up. You don't have to be anybody other than yourself. This isn't about, I want to look more like Danielle or be more like J Joe. This is be you. You're going to, your vibe will attract your tribe. And those are the people you want to run with. Those are the people you want to do life with. Those are the people you want to help with this product. Um, so be yourself is the first um, and then be strategic. 
Don't just remember the whole purpose of being on Facebook to build your business is to make sure that you're making these conversations turn into conversions. This, there's a point for what you're doing. So make sure you're intentional as well. Don't just mindlessly go through Facebook and scroll and let hours of your life pass you by. Go in with intent. F friend five new people a day, add people to the testimonials for a day, send birthday messages daily, engage 15 minutes a day um, with, with people making meaningful comments on their posts. So come up with a daily mode of operation. That's gonna be key to this as well. And then consistency. You're not gonna go to the gym for nine hours in one day and be ripped. The same thing with building connections um, over time and, and blowing up your business. You're not gonna show up on Facebook one day um, for nine hours and expect to make you know, these lifelong connections. You've gotta show up consistently. The best way I can describe what's happened in my business over three and a half years of showing up consistently is like the arcade um, game, the coin pusher, yeah, like, where all, wow. the, all the coins mm -hmm. are going back and forth, back and forth, mm -hmm. and you never know, but they, they're all about to drop. And every day I just keep putting a coin in, and then there's you know, this, this tide of people, I've, like two and a half years ago that I've talked to, that will come back and be like, hey, I wanna try the gel, hey, I wanna join the company. So you never know, but don't stop working, be consistent. Gosh, I love that. I like the whole coin pusher thing, that's pretty awesome, because I remember that game. Just kept tossing those quarters in there and waiting. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, it's like, you, it's like <laughs> you're, you're thinking, I'm yeah. just gonna keep putting those things in there. That consistency pays off, right? They will absolutely no, drop. I love that, I love that. Well, that's why I call you a strategist. Consistent and very good. Thank you, Liz, that Thank was perfect. You. Um, Tina, I'm going to ask you our next question. Is that okay? Absolutely. All right. Um, now, when it comes to sharing, right, the idea of sharing, you've done this so well for the last little while and just are consistent about it. What are some of the ways you like to share, right? How do you like to share? And what have you found that just works best? How do you like to do that? So, Sony, for me, um, talking to people comes naturally and easy, um, but that's not everybody's characteristic. Mm -hmm. And the good thing that I love about New You Life is they've taken that guesswork and that hard part that some people may, the roadblock that they hit, they've taken that out of the way for us. Um, we have an app that houses so many tools. We have state-of-the-art videos and graphics that are available with the click of a, a button, you know, the click of our app. And you can be anywhere. I can be in the grocery store, out, sorry, and actually um, share with someone and it not limit me. And so I have a few arsenals. I do use the, um, the app a lot to share the videos and graphics whatever may be that meets that person's needs. I also share uh, the jail and tales that we ha um, host on Mondays and Wednesday nights and the NUL Live, um, the freedom call that um, Joe Giuliano does on Tuesday nights. That's powerful, that's powerful. And even if it's not somebody that's wanting to um, join the business at the moment, just for them to hear the story and the, the testimony that comes with that is powerful. And then I always resort to sharing a three-way call. Uh, if I can get somebody on the phone with my upline leader or like a diamond um, <laughs> ambassador, Jay, he's been, um, he has been such a rock for me. Um, I, that is such a connection piece because that gives them credibility, uh, whereas I haven't been in the business as long and my usage of the gel and the other products have been very limited and it gives b credibility back to the diamonds and the product of it being a real, the real deal. What we have on our hands is the real deal. And so just sharing in that aspect, it, um, it's been great for me. That has been the key point of, of my sharing, so. That's incredible. I actually was, when you were speaking, I was looking at a comment right here. Maggie said, Tina, I love your heart. Totally agree, right? So it's great when you talk about how you, uh, how you can legitimately uh, share and how you invite them to use the tools, right? And, and exactly. those three-way calls are so great. Beautifully said, thank you. Um, Jay, uh, you get our last question, our last few minutes, right? Okay. Um, when it comes to inviting, right, the art of inviting, how do you like to invite someone, uh, kind of to take the next step uh, and to, to move forward in new life? What's your favorite way to do that? Well, I, I think for me personally, what's always worked consistently, you know, you get to that one point where you've sent that person all the information that they need to see. and doesn't matter the term of how long you know you've been courting yeah. this person male or female courting this person it's taken me with some really really great prospects two three years for them to join the business so people don't need to focus on the short term they need to focus on the long term 
But if you focus on the long term, the short term results will come sometimes a lot more quickly. But when you're at that point, the one big thing that everybody's always scared about is, all right, I've sent them all this information. What happens next? What do I do next? That's a huge hurdle. Yeah. Captain Kirk, boldly go where no man or woman has <laughs> gone before. I love that. That's where you're at at that point, but you have to fight through that. But the easiest way to fight through that is to line up with a mentor that can facilitate a three-way call. But you have to do your job as the distributor, the new person, you have to do your job. And sometimes some of the things that your leader is going to tell you to do to facilitate that three-way call, to get over the hump, to share the emphasis, because you can't see all of this on a phone call. But if you're with somebody that knows how to do that, it has to be set up properly so the call can flow now you're going to get a whole different outcome. Even though somebody may have seen six, seven, eight, nine videos, they've seen Bruce and Alexi, they've seen all of you guys up there talking about our products and everything that's so great about this company and what we've done in the last four years. You've got to convey that in like a 10 minute call. So if it's set up properly from the beginning, you have to edify that person, mm -hmm. make them look like they walk on water and glow in the dark. <laughs> I know it sounds cheesy, but it works. And at the end of the day, you might get a fast yes, you might get a slow no, or you might get a, I'm not sure, let me think about it. But either way, you continue to barrel through. So at the end of the day, similar to the coin pusher like Liz just said, you're just gonna have a lot of change pop yeah. at one point in time. So that's the best way, I think. So you just have to get over that hump. You've no. got to be able to see what's on the other side of that mountain for you to be able to consistently and what, the more you do that also, let me interject this really quick, the more you do that, the more other people in your organizations and other organizations start to yeah. see that yeah. momentum happening, and that's momentum for the whole entire company as a whole. That's why we're all here today, so mm -hmm. thank you. Beautifully said, Good. Jay, and like you said, I love I the try. idea that we created. You do, you do, you do well. You don't just try, you do. Uh, but anyway, guys, I appreciate so much your time and us talking about those principles. Now, I guess our hope is, is that people take these ideas and they go out and duplicate, right? Absolutely. And start teaching them in organizations. So guys, thank you so much. You guys are perfect, thank as you. always. Uh, and now we'll get to learn a little bit more about duplication here in just a second. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. Very well. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you.